Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and a huge welcome to any new viewers. So, we're going to have fun today because I decided I wanted to make this really cute Halloween sign that I thought would be really cool and we're going to try it and find out if it works. So, we're going to go ahead and get into it and I'm going to show you everything needed for this project and of course, if you follow me on social media, which links are down below, you'll see a list of everything needed for this project. You can also get that list on the community tab. So let's go ahead and jump right in and I'll tell you what's needed. Alrighty y'all, so the first thing you need is a piece of wood. It does not matter. I got this on sale at Walmart. It was a sign, hollow, um, 4th of July holiday sign. This is the bottom half of it. You can use something like that. You can use anything you want, but I wanted to pick something that I already had. So we're going to need a piece of wood sign. You're going to need a Halloween cutout, it does not have to be a ghost. I picked ghost because I had this. I actually got this on clearance. If you look, it is a little broke, but not too much. If you look on the other side, you can't see it. So this should work fine. Now, I didn't do a picture of this, but I did comment on social media about it. You're gonna need a piece of wood. This is a tower block. As you can see, I've actually cut it before, on it before, but it does not matter. It's still usable. You're gonna need some cardstock. This is just paper. It's not as thick as some of the cardstock, but this is what I want to use. It's Halloween themed, so that's why I'm using it. We are going to use some Mod Podge and a sponge brush. We are going to be using some glow in the dark neutral glow paint. I say white, whatever. We're going to be using that. Hopefully, it comes out looking good. And then we're going to be using a piece of twine. You can use Halloween ribbon, you can use string, twine, it does not matter. I have this, this is what I'm using. So let's jump in and get started on this project. Alright y'all, so the first, very first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the Mod Podge and we're going to be adding it to the sign. Now, also, if you do what, if you want to do, I can't even talk. Another option you can do is you can paint the back. I'm this stuff was really hard to work with. I would have to, um, what's it called? Um, I would have to, um, sandpaper pieces of it to make it work better so to get glue to uh, I can't talk paint to stick to it that's what I had to do last time and I'm not gonna do that so we're just going to leave the back of it white but if you have one that's not paint it it's just plain wood you can do that. It's totally up to you. So I'm just going to go ahead and add my Mod Podge all over and get it good and stuck on there. Alright, so that's done, and now I'm going to take, and I'm going to Mod Podge over like you always do. And I'm going to try to get as close to the edge as I can when I'm doing this because the simple fact that I do want to be able to use some more of this paper if I choose to so I'm going to try to get it as close as I can So, 
that is where we're at. And now we're going to let it dry and then we'll move on to the next step. So. Alright y'all, it's dry. So we're going to flip it over. And we're going to cut. Hold on, I hate when this happens. And if I need to touch up anywhere, which it looks like I do, I will touch up. I do it all the time. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut it. Excuse me. And I like doing it this way because it just it just makes it so neat and simple, you know? So, that is done. You see how it's a little loose there? I will go back and I will fix that. I don't like it being loose. So, we're going to go ahead and fix that right now with a little bit of paint. I mean, Mod Podge. And sometimes this happens, you know. It's not a huge deal. You just go about your day and just fix the problem. So, there we go. It is fixed. And then we'll move on. Alright, Kate. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I can't tell. Alright, so normally while the Mod Podge is drying, I move on to the next step. But for some reason this time, I didn't. I guess my brain just didn't function that way. But that's okay because we can move on now. So, I easily separated these two pieces. I'll go in and I'll clean this out later. But I just broke it off. It's fine. It decided it wanted to break off. So, that's not a big deal. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. And I'm just going to paint it now. And I'm doing it this way, but if you want to, you can easily, if you're doing a ghost, you could paint it white, then add the um, glow-in-the-dark paint over top of it, but I want to do it this way. As of right now, I'm actually liking the way it looks, so I'm glad I decided to go this route. To me, it kind of looks almost... Um, 
transparent. Now I've only used glow in the dark paint once and that was on another video and I can't even remember if I actually used the stuff. I showed you me painting um, it was my crystal ball. I painted the um, lightning bolts on it. So, I have used this paint before, but it was given away, so I really don't know how it came across. I did not keep it to find out. I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to make a big mess, but at the same time, I do want this to work. I'm not too concerned if I get it on the back of it. You're not gonna see the back. So, I am trying to get it everywhere. But really, the whole point of this is just to get a layer of the glow in the dark over the whole thing. And I'm sorry, y'all. I told y'all what's needed. And I forgot to mention glue. You're going to need glue to glue him to the sun. It was not very smart on my part. Alright. So I'm going to let that dry. And I'm happy with it. And then we'll move on to the next one. Alright. And the next step is pretty simple. You're just going to take. And you're going to glue. The. Um, block. To the ghost. I can't think of what it's called. That's simple. And then the last step is simply gluing it to the sign. Well, not the last step. That's the last step for that. We still got to add the um, the twine, which is what I meant to do before I did this. But sometimes my brain just doesn't function right. So how I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to find my holes. I'm using my pick. And I am making a hole for both. 
sides. Sorry. Alright, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to take my twine and I'm going to thread it through there. Maybe. Maybe I'm going to thread it through there. I haven't decided <laughs> whether it wants to work or not. go around the back and I'm going to thread it through the other side. Give me a second. Let me cut this piece off. And then I'm literally just going to tie it. And because this is more than enough, I will cut the excess off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm making a mess. Alright. So. And what I like to do when I do this is I like to Add a little glue to my knot just to make sure it doesn't come off. I like to make sure it stays glued. I mean, not glued. I like to make sure it stays closed. My knot, I don't. And there you go. That is my cute little Halloween 3D glow in the dark sign. I think it came out looking awesome. I'm very happy with it. Let me know what y'all think. I think it looks great. All right, if y'all like this project, please, 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 please comment down below. Also, like, share, and subscribe because it does help my channel to grow. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.